This is a basic deadbolt. The important thing to note is that it only actually locks in position when it's fully extended, about one inch. If it doesn't go all the way, it can be pushed right back in. It doesn't actually lock unless it extends the full inch. Then it locks in place and does what it's supposed to. Any less than that, if the bolt binds or is blocked, it can be easily pushed back. To check this, operate the lock with the door open and see how far you can turn the lock. Now do it with the door closed, and if it won't turn as far, or if you hear a dull thud of that bolt hitting wood, chances are it's not actually locked and can be pushed right back in. Again, if it doesn't extend all the way, it can be pushed right back. Now if it's installed correctly, it actually extends, this is the size of your basic door jam, about three quarters of an inch, and the bolt actually extends farther than the thickness of that. So this is a problem even in new construction. See this is locked in place. You want to make sure that when you have the door open, you check how far it turns, and it should do exactly the same thing when it's in place and the door is closed. And while you're checking your deadbolt, also pull the screws used to mount the strike plate. If they're not at least two inches long, replace them with two or three inch screws so that the plate is tied into the structural wall framing around the door. For maximum security against physical attack, you want your door, locks, and wall to act as a single unit. Make sure your locks work as well as the manufacturer's intended.